In this demonstration, I will guide you through building a simple workflow in UiPath Maestro step-by-step. -step. I open Maestro and select Start Modeling. Maestro provides several templates you can begin with. For example, you may pick a template and adapt it, or you can launch Autopilot for a rapid start. By describing the business case to Autopilot, it automatically drafts a workflow. Although I want to highlight these alternatives, today we will create the process manually. You will notice that Autopilot can still generate useful content. However, I will show each step in detail. Our scenario features two triggers, receiving an email with an attachment or detecting that a Salesforce opportunity changes to closed one. Dedicated bots extract data either from the PDF or directly from Salesforce. Next, the process creates a sales order in SAP and proceeds to subsequent actions. This keeps the example straightforward. I will replicate this flow in Maestro. Autopilot already produced a preliminary version in the background. I would only need to refine it, but we will instead use a clean, working workflow I prepared in advance. We will run that example later. First, I will demonstrate how to build the solution yourself. Let us assemble it step by step and examine each configuration option. Even if the initial run is not perfect, the goal is to illustrate the overall structure. We begin with a start element, followed by an event and a task. As mentioned, the trigger can be an incoming email or a change in Salesforce. After the trigger, we add a data extraction step. Once data is extracted, the flow reaches a decision gateway. Depending on the outcome, the process posts an entry to SAP and then ends. To merge both decision paths into the end event, I simply draw the connectors. I can also insert an additional decision and, for instance, a manual input task. Remember, the flow may start from an email or from Salesforce, so two separate triggers are necessary. Accordingly, I delete one element, convert the other into a start event, and replicate the basic arrangement. Next, I reconnect the shapes. For the first trigger, we specify Gmail. Let us configure that connector now. I select the Gmail connector and choose the event when email received in the inbox folder. I add filters so that the subject must contain invoice and the message must include an attachment. The second trigger uses the Salesforce connector. I choose the event Opportunity Closed 1 and apply a filter so that close date is after 1st December 2024. Each trigger exposes output variables. From Salesforce, I capture the Opportunity ID by mapping the ID field. From Gmail, I retrieve the attachment name using the corresponding variable. I will move quickly through the remaining configuration because we will run a fully prepared demo later. The next step is data extraction. For data extraction, I launch the reusable automation extract data system. It requires the opportunity ID from Salesforce and the attachment name from Gmail. The automation returns a quantity value that drives the subsequent decision logic. At the decide on quantity gateway, I define several conditions. For the Gmail path, the quantity is five. For the Salesforce path, the quantity is 10. If the quantity is zero, we must request human input. To obtain that input, I start an API workflow called manual quantity, capture the returned value, and store it in the quantity variable. Next, the flow sends an SAP OData insert request, passing the resolved quantity. That completes the workflow design. Two start events, one end event, and the intermediate steps we discussed. Because live triggers are hard to emulate, I test by supplying sample arguments manually. For example, I paste a valid opportunity ID from Salesforce into the test form and run the flow. When the Salesforce trigger fires, the agent extracts the data, evaluates the decision, and posts the record to SAP. In SAP, order 154 now contains 10 line items, verifying the Salesforce path where the quantity is forced to 10. Inside Extract Data System, the script first checks whether the opportunity field is null. If it is null, the Gmail branch is selected. If it is populated, the Salesforce branch is followed. Because my Salesforce and SAP environments are not integrated in real time, the quantities are hard-coded for this demonstration. In the Gmail branch, if the attachment name is empty, the quantity is zero. Otherwise, the file is downloaded, processed with document understanding, and the quantity is set to five. To test the Gmail path, I use an email with the attachment name new1.pdf, adjust the expression accordingly, and run the flow. 
The workflow follows the Gmail path, generates a quantity of five, and posts order 155 in SAP with five line items. For a third scenario, I leave the attachment name blank, forcing quantity, tra, kish, zero. This triggers the human in the loop branch, which creates a task in Action Center. I assign the task to myself and enter a quantity of two. After submission, the workflow proceeds and creates SAP order, 156 with two items. This demonstration shows how Maestro can call unattended robots as well as involve human input, producing multiple decision paths. I hope this step-by-step -step walkthrough clarifies the build process.